Hello, I'm David Landon and I've been working on developing a book scanner based on the existing designs that are available commercially. This can be made for very little amount of money really, probably under £200 is what I've spent on this. And it follows exactly the same principles that most book scanners in the commercial realm use. I'll just show you the different component parts and show you how it works. The book scanner has the com usual parts that you found, find on commercial book scanners. It has a book cradle at the bottom here. You just place the book in the V-shaped cradle and it has a acrylic platen which comes down and just gently presses into the gutter of the book to hold the pages flat on both sides. And then like all the other scanners it has two cameras here which are focused on the pages and they're fired simultaneously using this little infrared um, controller here, just a press of the trigger and if both cameras are fired together. The platen is counterbalanced so it's very light and there's no effort involved. You just turn the page, press down and fire the camera. Turn, lift up, turn the page, press down gently and fire the camera. And using this method, you can achieve, easily achieve, just going at this kind of speed, you can achieve a, a rate of a thousand pages in an hour. And the book is handled carefully, there's only a matter of page turning, there's no damage, no stress or strain on the book whatsoever, and the images that it produces are very good. So this is the scanner that I've invented. It's taken a lot of time actually, although it looks fairly straightforward and simple. Um, it's based on other people's ideas very much. Um, with, with the, the V-shaped book um, holder, the, um, the platen like this made out of um, plastic and uh, with the two cameras. One, there are a couple of things that are different from most other um, book scanners in the commercial realm. Most of them use kind of a spring mechanism for raising and lowering the platen but this uses a counterbalance there are two counterbalance weights at the back so it's just very very gentle you can just see that it just hangs and there's no pressure whatsoever no hard pressure on the book it's just light finger pressure to help hold the pages flat um, as you turn them um, the other thing is that the cameras are attached to the same arm as the platen and so they're, they're always at exactly the same distance when you take the picture uh, the the distance from the camera to the to the page is identical every time so you get very good images this way well that's the idea and uh, it's taking quite a bit of development even though it's very simple and it uses just plastic tubing to make it um, it is very simple there's no complicated structure or mechanism at all so there's nothing to go wrong with it really um, so there we are, thank you.